What's the housing forecast for 2024? Michael St. Jean from Michael St. Jean Realty is here to take a look. So before we look forward, let's do a quick recap of last year. Yeah, so last year was a very interesting year. Um, the first half of the year we saw prices, sales, rising all the way from about January to uh, the end of school term at the end of June. Uh, during the summer, we saw a couple of surprise interest rate hikes from the Bank of Canada, and we saw things start sort of stabilize and, and balance out. Um, as of about Labor Day, uh, we saw prices starting to uh, resume their decline. And from about September into, I'd say about the first or second week of December, prices, sales, uh, de declining pretty significantly. Um, in the last couple of weeks of December, prices appear to have about stabilized okay. and at this point um, are actually starting to move up. Okay, but I mean, they're declining from like record highs that record, we saw during, record, the, record highs. during the pandemic, yes. especially when everybody had to move and everybody had to work from home and get into a bigger space. But now things are kind of cooling off. So is this more of a buyer's market or more of a seller's market? Um, we've been technically in a balanced market, which is um, uh, probably the best that we're gonna see um, versus where we were a few years ago where it was uh, probably the the deepest seller's market that we've ever seen. And, and like you're saying, we've, we've come from such highs that when I say prices declining, I mean, we're talking very marginally from mm -hmm. the peak. Yeah. Uh, you know, prices on a single family home have probably gone up 100% in the last five years. So they, they may have trickled down 15% since, you know, the high, but we are, you know, it's, it's not a whole lot um, and we've now stabilized and just in December we've seen prices already starting to move back up again. Okay, and, and I guess it all depends really on what happens with interest rates. Rates are on hold and it, it appears as every day passes that uh, rates will be coming down probably a lot sooner than many Canadians think and uh, probably by a, a much larger degree than most people right. believe. So do you find then that buyers are maybe kind of holding off a little bit to see what the market will bring if it will go down because you know especially if you're getting your first mortgage if if that will be maybe at a lower rate than you could get today. I think there's a, a, a portion of the buyers are on the sidelines just because they're waiting for the optimal time and of course timing the market is always extremely difficult mm -hmm. but there is also a very large chunk of home buyers that are on the sidelines simply because they can't afford to purchase at the current interest rate level. Levels. So I think um, in the coming months, you're going to see that that the chunk that are just waiting, they're going to they're already starting. I can say even in the last couple of weeks of December to pile back into the market. And then you're going to see that as rates start coming down, which they have interest rates peaked out in about October. Uh, they've been coming down on an almost weekly basis since. Uh, despite the fact that the Bank of Canada hasn't started officially lowering rates. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that as rates start coming down, buyers start jumping back into the market. So I think we're going to see a little bit of a slower start to the year, but as every week passes, it's going to accelerate. Okay, we've got about 30 seconds left, but any, any really hot spots right now in the Hamilton Burlington market? Um, that's a loaded question. I would say the entire market <laughs> yeah. is a hot spot, depending on what you're looking for. I mean, it's a community with so many diverse areas and different housing products and types and neighborhoods. Our, our neck of the, uh, you know, golden horseshoe is the most popular mm -hmm. and the most, most affordable still, believe it or not. And so I think it really just depends on the buyer. Um, but there's a little bit of something for everyone here. Okay, Michael, thanks very much for coming in. We'll get all your socials up on our website, chch.com slash morning life.